Welcome to episode five of Randy's Office. Today I want to show you some of the new features that are available in Office 2019 and 365. Many of these features have, uh, have been available in 365 for some time and have recently been rolled into Office 2019. I want to start by looking at some of the features that are available globally in most of the Office applications with the exception of Access, which has stayed pretty consistent from the Office 2016 version. Um, then we'll look at some of the new functions that have been rolled into Office 2019 in Excel and then finally looking at the uh, designer in PowerPoint. So let me start with some of the global features that have been that have been added to Office 2019 and 365. First of all, the autosave. If your documents saved in OneDrive or any of your files are saved in OneDrive or SharePoint, the autosave feature is on, which automatically saves as you make changes to a document. It shows up here that it's saved. You can even click on this and see where it's saved and all of that information. So that's a nice feature. You could turn that off at any point just by toggling this switch off and the default setting for autosave is in the options menu that you can turn on if you don't want that if you don't want that feature on um, also sharing sharing's been available for quite some time but um, in order to share a document it has to be saved on OneDrive or SharePoint but it's been enhanced a little bit the share button is in the upper right and opens up a new window and here you can control who actually has access to the sharing link you can say anyone you can allow editing or just make it if you deselect it that it's view only. You can set an expiration date and then you have the option of typing in an email address here and a message and sending that directly to a recipient or multiple recipients or you can copy the link and, and email it in your own email or place it in an online location. You could also generate a link using Outlook here or send a copy like we've previously been able to do. So sharing has been enhanced. Um, also, you'll notice the Draw tab is now available in 2019 to use. If you uh, if you have a touch screen, it, it helps to use that. So that's that's kind of nice. And then also accessibility. It's a, a nice feature. So in the review area, there's a check accessibility button now. So you could check the accessibility of your documents and files. And when you do that, it comes up and it shows you, like it has previously, shows you what's what's kind of uh, potential errors in here so missing some alternative text here and now what's happened is they actually give you recommended action so from from that drop down list you can add a description and it's going to open up the alt text dialog box where you can add in a description for the alt text and then close that. Also, whenever you have something something selected, the alt text, if I select an image here, the alt text button is readily available on the, uh, on the picture tools or on the tools format uh, ribbon in, in the accessibility group. And you could also right click an image and get that from the context menu. So those are some of the global features that are available in Office 365 in 2019. I'm going to move now to Excel and show you uh, some of the features and some of the new functions in Excel. So. Uh, one of the big ones in 2019 that was not available in 2016 is the ifs and there's a whole bunch of f and, and if s is just a series of if statements so rather than um, writing nested if statements you can use an if if s statement which is much clearer and there's also uh, min if s max if s sum if s average if s so a whole bunch of those series of if statements and it's very clean so here's one that is looking at this range here and just giving it a rating depending on on where it falls in the criteria there but from the um, function arguments dialog box really easy to build this you put in your logical test you put in what it what the value is if it's true and then the next so rather than a, a value of if it's false and doing another if statement then you just you just put in the next logical test and the value and the next logical test and so on and so on 
and really easy to build these these uh, if s statements and any of the s statements whether it's some some if s or average if s much easier to build than a nested if statement this is a nested if statement so that's the exact same one lots of parentheses here gets a little confusing but and it's just much cleaner looking at the if s rather than the nested if another one is the uh, the text join and the concat. So text join is new that allows you to uh, join text strings and, and put in uh, delimiters between each one and uh, ignore the empty, but very easy to build from the function arguments dialog box. And that joins, that's joining these two uh, text strings here. You could also easily do a concat function and that's very similar. Text, text join is typically more for text where concat is data. It can be used, used for anything. So I'll show you what that looks like. So for concat, you can add in your first text and then you just add in your space. So I'm just going to space and then add in my next text. And that puts in the space between. So very easy. And this is just a, a uh, cleaned up form function from the concatenate function which was previous which was available previously and you end up getting the same result so it it works out fine either way moving on to powerpoint one of the one of the very nice features in 365 is what's called the designer or design ideas now Currently, this feature is not available in Office 2019, which is kind of a disappointment, but it is a really amazing, amazing feature that whenever you have a picture or a list or any types of items in a PowerPoint slide, the designer will give you ideas to kind of make your presentation look a little better. So this one I just put in. I just selected a regular theme and, and just uh, dropped in a picture here. But if I click design ideas, it generates a whole bunch of different design ideas that you could select from. So if I wanted to do that, there you have it. And I have another slide here and I can do that. And here's another slide with just a bulleted list of items. And I can scroll through and decide which of these that I like the best and add those in. So in just a couple clicks, you can make a presentation look, look much better. So that's it. I hope this was helpful for you. And I hope, you I hope you're having a wonderful semester. Please contact me if you have any questions or ideas for a future episode of Randy's Office. Have a great day.